Today I'm going to show you how to clean and remove your EGR system in your Lexus CT200H. What you're going to need is a socket set, a wrench set, and lastly a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver. Now if you don't have any of these tools, you can pick them up at Walmart or Hubbard Freight for super cheap. Now, this is the first time ever cleaning out your EGR system. Don't worry, it is pretty easy. Before we get started, this is the same exact motor as in the uh, 2010 and 2015 Prius. Now that we get that out of the way, let's get into this. So basically, we're gonna take this pipe off right here and take that off the air box and unclip these two clips. Once you got these two clips off, we're gonna take this sensor off, just like that, it should pop straight off. And we're gonna take this clip right here on the side of the air box off and unclip the wire off. If you're having a little trouble with this clip, it's better to use a flat head and then squeeze the clip and then it should pop right off. Next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is unloosen this bolt from the top of the air box and take this air hose off so it can take off the cover. Now once this clamp is loose, you should be able to wiggle it back and forth just like that. Now let's go ahead and remove the top cover. You should be able to slide it up just like this and it should come right off, just like that. Now that we have the air filter exposed, we're gonna go ahead and take that out and put that in a safe place. Now that should expose this 10 millimeter bolt and we're gonna go ahead and remove that with our ratchet. Once this bolt is loose, we're gonna go ahead and take it out just like that and we're gonna remove this engine cover. This engine cover should come off like a piece of cake. All you do is just pull up on it. After removing the engine cover, that should reveal this bolt, which is the last bolt to remove the air box. Once you remove this bolt, you wanna make sure that your hose is off the air box so you can remove the air box. When you're taking this out, you want to make sure to slide this out like that just because there's another inlet on the bottom of the airbox. From here, you can remove the secondary unit of the airbox and remove this 10 millimeter bolt and that 10 millimeter bolt. Now you're just going to go ahead and pop off this hose right here. Now you're going to grab your flathead and you're going to remove this clip right here, this clip, and there's another one right here. Underneath that, you should have that clip and this clip. You're going to want to do the same exact thing that you did with the top clip and remove those two with your flathead as well. On the side of the air box, there should be this clip right here you're gonna wanna remove as well. And then all to remove that, you wanna squeeze the sides and pull out. Now you're ready to pull out this air box. Once you pull that out, you should have a lot more engine space to work with here. Now there are four main things to this EGR system. One is the EGR pipe. Two is your throttle body down over here. Three is your EGR cooler in the rear right over here. And finally, underneath the intake manifold is the PCV valve. Now, I highly advise you always get a new PCV valve when you're always doing one of these EGR cleans. You can get a new PCV valve at your local Lexus or Toyota dealership or online. Now, we won't be doing the EGR cooler today just because it's a lot of work. So we're going to be doing the pipe today, the throttle body, and the PCV valve. For our first step, we're going to go ahead and remove our EGR pipe. And there should be two 10 millimeters on this side and two 10 millimeters on that side. We can remove them with the help of a ratchet or a wrench. To remove this bolt right here on the EGR pipe, I highly advise to use a 10 millimeter wrench as it will make your life a lot more easier. Once you remove that 10 millimeter here, you're gonna go ahead and remove this plastic cover just like that and slide it right off. And it should give you access to two 10 millimeters on the bottom. Now you're just gonna go ahead and unscrew these two and unscrew those two. Once you remove your EGR pipe, you're gonna go ahead and make sure not to lose this gasket as that's very important. There's only one gasket here and that's that gasket right there. And on this side, it's only just a little piece of plastic on the intake manifold. Now when you're inspecting your EGR pipe, you want to make sure to clean all the carbon out of this tube. Now to clean your EGR pipe, you're going to want something alcohol based, something like a toothbrush, or you can use pipe cleaners. You're going to want to go ahead and pour that alcohol based product into your pipe and then go ahead and start scrubbing. Now once the inside of your EGR pipe is nice and shiny, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. Now we're going to go ahead and move to the throttle body. First step is to grab this clip. You can basically just take it off of your hand and slide this pipe off. Once you remove that top pipe, you're gonna go ahead and grab a pair of pliers, which I forgot to mention. You're gonna go ahead and grab this clip and remove it off this air hose. Then you're gonna go grab this clip and also take this off, but just be careful because there's a little bit of coolant that comes out of that. Highly advise to at least have a rag with you when you take off that hose, just in case the system is still pressurized and it squirts out at you. As you can see, I did have a lot of pressure in mine because I did run my car for a little while before I did this. So I had some coolant come out. Next tip, you wanna go ahead and grab this clip that was supposed to be on here, but I set it back, and you're going to take off this hose. Now, when you do remove this bottom hose, just be sure to put a screw in it just so it doesn't start leaking all over the place and start making a bigger mess. 
Now make sure the area is clean before you do remove the throttle body. But we're gonna go ahead and take out the clip right here. We're gonna take out this another electrical clip right here, clean the area, and then we're gonna unscrew these 10 millimeter bolts and then slide the entire throttle body out. Once you remove those cables and these bolts, it should slide out just like that. Now when you're inspecting your throttle body, just make sure and look for carbon buildup on the bottom flap or on the top flap. If you see none, then you're good. If you do, just use the alcohol and scrub it off. Now at this part, we're gonna go ahead and remove the PCV valve underneath the intake manifold. One thing too is I won't be removing the intake manifold in this video just because my EGR system looked really good. But if yours had a lot of carbon buildup, go ahead and take off these bolts and take off this clip down over here that connects this wire to the intake manifold. And then take this clip off and slide the entire thing out and do a full clean on that too. Just be worried about the oil in the bottom and you're gonna make sure that these two pipes are off when you do that. Now to remove the PCV valve, you're gonna go ahead and take this little clip off right over here and then take this hose off. Once your hose is off right here, you're gonna go ahead and take another clip off this, the same exact thing in the back over here. You're gonna slide the entire hose off that PCV valve and then we're gonna take this hose out. Once you take that other clip off, it should come off easy as cake. If you're wondering where that location is for that valve, it's right underneath the intake manifold and it's right there. To remove and install one of these, you can grab a 22 millimeter socket or you can grab a 7 8 wrench. Once you got your old EGR valve out, you're gonna put in your new one. And in goes the new one. Once your new valve is in, you're gonna go ahead and grab your old pipe and clean it out, and then you can go ahead and put it back on. Now once you put your pipe back into place, you're gonna go ahead and grab your throttle body, and we're gonna start working in reverse, and start putting the wires back on, and the hoses back on. Now that the throttle body is on, let's go ahead and put on our EGR pipe. Just be careful not to drop this gasket in the engine bed. One thing I did do before I did put on this EGR pipe, was clean the inlet right over here and clean all the carbon out before I did put this on, just to make sure that the entire system right here is clean. Next, let's put on our intake boot. It should go on like this, like an L. Now that we clipped in this boot and we put this top hose on, let's go ahead and put on the secondary air box. Now let's put on your secondary air box. Remember to put these two fasteners in your bolts and then clip in this wire right here in the side right here. Now that that's in, let's go ahead and install our air box. Remember there's one bolt on the bottom and then one bolt on the top. When putting in this air box, just be sure to put in the bottom inlet first and then screw it on just because it makes it a lot more easier. Now that this is in, let's go ahead and put in that air filter. Now let's put on that air filter cover. Now we just have to clip our clips in, make sure that we have our air sensor in and make sure that this is nice and tight. Lastly, be sure to clip this hose in on the side right over here and then the bottom right over here. And be sure to clip this electrical cable on the side right over here. Now we just put our engine cover back on. Now we start off the car. And that's it guys. You clean your EGR system and your car is ready on the road. As always, thanks for watching and tune in for another video.